Hey guys, HerbQuest here, and welcome to today's Seasonal Dead Man video. Today's video is actually going to be a special clue scroll challenge where I do one of every clue scroll, but something interesting happened along my journeys, and I figured that I would highlight it, pay note to it, and maybe talk about it a little bit, because a lot of these types of issues sort of get brush under the rug, so to speak, in the RuneScape community, and the topic of the day is toxicity. That's right, it's a drama video. I had a toxic encounter with a fellow content creator who I thought I was on good terms with because I've talked to this person before and we've talked politely before. They even wanted me to join my clan or their clan before. And I almost did at one point a couple years back, but decided not to because I like the solo game and the this person had kind of a reputation for being a potential DDoSer. At the time, I didn't know whether or not that was true, so I didn't want to join his team speak and let him have access to my IP. That might have offended him, I don't know, but apparently this guy really hates me. Which kind of leads me to ask, Hey Ari, what's your problem, dude? And I'm not talking about the PK, I'm talking about the comments you made during that and all that, because that's kind of crossing the line between just general flaming, like, you know, saying sit nerd or haha, we took your stuff, whatever, you know, that's casual just banter. Now, what you're about to see in this clip is crossing the line of banter and goes a little bit more into the player harassment realm. So, without further ado, let's just let the clip play with the raw footage. I'll chop out, like, the silent parts or the clicky parts where I'm just running and nothing interesting is happening for time constraints. Oh, that's some weird glitch spot. Oh wow, there's a whole plan here. Oh, they're off. Okay, maybe. I don't think these guys are weed blazers. Now, let's pay mind to what's actually going on in the chat box here. So, these guys are claiming to be weed blazers, a clan that I rolled with last tournament. And he's claiming to be Bellus himself, and they're claiming to be betraying me, basically. So they're pretending to be my old clan that's turning on me. Not even my old clan, I'm still with Weed Blazers for the tournament, I haven't, like, left them or anything. I'd still consider myself a member, just inactive for the season while I'm, you know, doing my solo thing. But I think the nice piety made them think that I realized that it wasn't them. And I was still kind of like piecing it together at this point. But still though, look at these messages. Nice shit vids. Lispy fuck. Googly eyed retard. Like, come on guys. Like, Ari, aren't you like a little old to be flaming people like that. I mean, for when people are like 12 to 16, it's kind of understandable, even in like the heat of the moment or whatever, but dude, you're like in your mid-20s. Like, did you ever grow up? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. It's RuneScape. It's a video game. We're all in the community to have fun. There's no need to, you know, be talking shit like that. That's just totally uncalled for, it's totally disrespectful, and as far as I'm concerned, you're an absolute disgrace to the community, and uh, you should get banned again, as far as I'm concerned with that. You're just a toxic individual, and you don't belong in this game. And I know who you are, because I can see your username in your YouTube channel. You're not fooling anyone, but if I was that gullible to believe you and everything you said during that encounter? I mean, how do you know how stable I am? I mean, 
I could be anybody, and you're just talking to anybody like that. It's extremely toxic and uncalled, plain and simple. But here's a fun little compilation of stuff for entertainment purposes. And I've got two words for you, my man. Nice piety. And this is through an official like RuneScape inbox message that as dead botting I'm perm DQ'd. Nice piety. As dead botting I'm perm DQ'd. As dead botting I'm perm DQ'd. As dead botting I'm perm DQ'd. They disqualified you for splashing. Yep. Were you not auto clicking? Yeah, but it was like intervals, like it wasn't it wasn't like all like every second and 12 milliseconds. I had like eight fucking things on, and it was like all different times. No way. Fucking Someone's put a call out. It's not even detectable. I just got mass reported. That's all that happened. Uh, but, in all seriousness, I'm not sure what I did between uh, the 20 in fall of last year and the 20 in winter of last year to end up on a perm DQ list. I'm not sure what I did. I just got mass reported, that's all that happened. Were well, you not auto clicking? Yeah, but it was like intervals. Like it wasn't it wasn't like all like every second and twelve milliseconds. I had like eight fucking things on and it was like all different times. I'm not sure what I did. I just got mass reported, that's all that happened. Were well, you not auto clicking? Yeah, but it was like intervals. Like it wasn't it wasn't like all like every second and twelve milliseconds. I had like eight fucking things on and it was like all different times. I had like eight fucking things on and it was like all different times. I'm not sure what I did, but I had like eight fucking things on and it was like all different times. I'm not sure what I did. Nice pie. He acknowledged my existence, but he just displays complete lack of respect. And in his jealousy and envy, it just whirls him in a frenzy as he turns on you too. He sees my face and it's destroying him slowly because he does not even know me, even though he sees me everywhere he goes. And now he's acting like a bully, so he tries to push and pull me, but he knows that he can't fool me, so he's mad. He has no choice but to scream and raise his voice up at me, cause it annoys him to see that I ain't scared. I won't allow it, make him coward, turn the bully. <laughs> 